In this video, I'm going to provide you with all the information you need to make a personal decision about playing Minoria. So what do I need to know to jump into this game? Well, nothing much. Minoria is a spiritual successor to the Momodora series, which I became familiar with via Reverie Under the Moonlight. Something just attracted me to this game, I'm not sure. Maybe it was maybe it was the retro style or maybe it was the creepy religious aesthetic. I'm just I'm just not sure. I can't put my just can't figure it out, you know? But I really, really enjoyed it. I didn't realize Momodora was part of a series, honestly, until researching this game, which I assumed it to be part of. I mean, look, they look crazy similar. The important thing is this, you don't have to play the other games to enjoy this one, so that's definitely a plus for this game. There is no barrier of knowing everything in the series, and there's only a couple of throwbacks. Again, it's a spiritual successor. So what do you need to know about the story? You're a saint trying to save a castle from witches. That's it. How long to beat clocks this game at about 5 hours, and my experience of not going for 100% completion put me at about 6 hours. So it's long enough to be a bite-sized game, and it's short enough to knock out sort of quickly. It does have a platinum trophy option, and apparently it's an easy one. This game doesn't have the best combat, but it is solid combat, and it's easy to remember how to, how to fight. I haven't been in a fight since I was in the 5th grade, but I beat the s*** out of that kid, so now I'm gonna beat the s*** out of you. Oh, Okay, what are you doing? There is a parry system and it's powerful, but it's not terribly satisfying. I mean, don't expect Dark Souls sort of parry. The whole game can be beaten without parry if that matters to you. You can get abilities called incenses, but they're negligible beyond the heal one. Some increase damage and some are a projectile or whatever, but it's not a big deal. The heal though, that's pretty important. This game is hard enough. It's not terribly difficult, but it's difficult enough that even a seasoned gamer will die a few times. It took me about two to three times of per boss to knock it out, and I'm really not that good at video games, so hey, there's that. Do you have a Steam Deck or a handheld PC of some sort? This game is great for pick up and play and runs perfectly fine on my vanilla ROG Ally. This game is easy to save between points. As a matter of fact, it's about five to 10 minutes between each save point when progressing, so it's great for bite-sized gaming. Most of this game was actually played in the privy, so if that's your business of doing business, hey, business is booming. Quick reminder, life gets busy, right? So if you haven't played in a while, you can simply load the game and press the R button and your companion will give you an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. There's no markers on the map for most things, so that that's a point of frustration for me, but having the companion reminded me what to do is pretty handy. If you like open exploration and metroidvanias, hey, you're gonna like this setup. The art style is lovely, but I do think it's a little cheap looking. I think that the latest two Momodora games look particularly better, but you know, they're pixel art. I love pixel art. The game is smooth and well, it's, I mean, it's pretty, but it's almost like looking at a flash game sometimes. Again, I was drawn to it, drawn to the art style, but I can't help but feel it's a tad bit rushed, maybe? Maybe that's the word I'm looking for, or maybe it's just simple. Maybe simple is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, right? He was farting in bathtubs and laughing ass off. The story is honestly pretty forgettable. It's just enough to get you invested in doing the stuff in the game. And I'm okay with that. It's not bogged down by long cutscenes or anything, but it also suffers a bit in the shallow story department. If you're looking for a good story, you should probably invest your time elsewhere. So should you play Minoria? Well, consider this list. Can you say yes to a few of these? I'm looking for something quick to play. I enjoy Metroidvanias. I'm interested in the Momodora series. I need a game that I can quickly get in and out of. I need a game that's a little more challenging than normal. I want to play more games with female protagonists. I don't mind this art style. I don't mind to explore to find the objective. And I don't mind that the story is shallow. Out of these nine, if you got five on here, I'd say play that sucker. If you didn't, maybe you should avoid it for right now. If I've encouraged you to play this game or maybe I've saved you some time, consider giving me a like, give me a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Share it with your buddies, whatever the case may be. I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in something a little more old school like this, you might consider this video.